Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a smooth shadow transition effect to easily dip and wipe between clips. So before we begin this tutorial, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe below. I try to put out new videos every day. And for everyone that's new, you can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho as well if you guys want to stay tuned with live streams and reach out to me easily in DMs. So getting into this effect, I have a couple of clips laid out on the timeline and in order to transition smoothly between them, we're just going to combine a few effects. So the first thing we're going to do is create a dip to black in between these two clips. So if we go to the effects panel on the right hand side, this is actually a preset in the video transitions dissolve folder. We can just search for dip to and you see there's dip to black or white. So I'll click and drag that in between the clip. And if it says insufficient media, that just means that the clip ends by the time you're trying to stretch it. So you might see that it kind of freeze frames it at a certain point. Most cases you can't really tell it looks just fine, but do keep in mind that you can click on the transition, go to the effects control panel, and you can adjust the positioning of it if you don't want the clips to have any repeated frames. So I'm just going to keep mine in the center for ease of use. And next we're going to add an adjustment layer so we can create the shadow that wipes across the screen. So in our project media bin, make sure we have that highlighted and go to file new adjustment layer. This will create a blank adjustment layer that we can now drag on a track over top of those clips. So what I like to do is just keep this right about the same size as the dip to black. And I'll even extend the default dip to black out a little bit extra. So in my example here, the adjustment layer is about one second in duration and the dip to black is about one and a half seconds. So we'll play around with it. The longer you make it, the smoother it'll be. It's up to your preference. So once I have these two clips aligned, the next thing I want to do is add that shadow that wipes across the screen on this adjustment layer. So what we're going to do is search for the crop effect in the effects tab and drag that onto the adjustment layer. Here's where we can create a crop that wipes across the screen and acts as a shadow. So depending on which direction you want to make it, you can choose to crop left, right, top or bottom. So let's wipe left to right in this example. So I'm going to go to the start of my adjustment layer and click the stopwatch icon for left and create a new keyframe at zero. So that's automatically created. And then I'm going to go to the exact middle where the transition is. In my case, it's at the cut. If yours wasn't, just put it at the middle of the dip to where things are totally black and set the effect to 100. So now you see we have a crop that crops in at the same time that things are fading to black. However, we want to exit the other way. So we want to exit from left again. So in order to do that, we have to go one frame over, set the left transition to 0%. So you see it immediately disappears. However, at the same time, we're going to create some keyframes in the right section. So let's go back to the exact center. By the way, you can use these arrow keys to move keyframe to keyframe. So in our middle keyframe, let's add another one for right. And we'll keep the right at 0% and then we'll move one over and we'll start at 100. So basically we have the middle covered to be a solid block. Except now we can release from the right hand side. So we go all the way to the end of the adjustment layer, set it to zero. And you'll see what happens is it comes in from the left and then it releases from the left as well because we're pulling it in from the right. However, it's very straight lined right now. We want to add a little bit of smooth feathering. And the crop effect just has an edge feather feature built right in. So you can turn that up to about a couple hundred, whatever looks smooth. It's going to be different horizontally or top to bottom. And when I play that back, you'll see that we have a smooth dip to black and shadow across the screen transition. One final touch I like to do is add a little bit of color adjusting to really fade it out a little bit more. So what we can do is find any of the color effects that we like on the effects panel. So for example, I could do a red, green, blue color balance, drag this onto the adjustment layer and add some keyframes here to give ourselves a little bit of a blue shadow. So I'll start it at zero. I'll add a keyframe at red and then I'll go to the center and I'll lower the red all the way down to zero. So basically it's going to give us that blue look and then we're going to go over and bring it all back up to 100. So what that does, it adds a little bit of a tint over the lens. And in my opinion, it helps smooth things out, adds a nice little tint that draws your eye away and then back in. And you could even try other effects like you don't have to do color balance. You could do 
other things like curves or brightness and contrast or exposure. And basically you just want to be dipping darker in the middle and then coming back up at the beginnings and end. From here you could actually right click, select all of these effects and then save them as a preset if you wanted to apply them onto adjustment layers in the future. So you could do shadow transition preset and scale would scale it to the size of whatever adjustment layer you used. I do have a whole tutorial separately on how to save presets. So check that one out. And if we wanted to do a top to bottom, basically it'd be the same thing. So I can copy this over by holding Alt and Option, copy it over to another transition in the screen. And instead of doing left to right, we could basically repeat these same keyframes except top to bottom. So we'll start zero at the top, then go 100, then go zero, and then we'll start at the bottom at 100, zero, and then pull it back to zero, and then I'll just delete the left and right keyframes. So when we play that back, you'll see that it goes top to bottom. So play around with your timing, your keyframes, and the duration, and some extra color tints at the end to apply your own shadow transition effects. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. Follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay in touch with me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.